Along the East Coast, there's been an increase in sea turtle nests, including here in eastern North Carolina, and it's prompted some park officials in the Outer Banks to close portions of the beach. Now, your side's Camila Barco takes us to Harker's Island to learn more about the growing population. Cape Lookout National Seashore has seen more than 470 sea turtle nests this year alone. It's a record setting number compared to the 352 nests in 2018. Visitors have been filling seats on Island Express Ferry Service. The boat makes hourly trips to the Outer Banks, an area that's seeing an increase in sea turtle nests this year. They really only come to the beaches to lay their nests. Um, so it's a really big moment when a, when a sea turtle comes up. By the end of May, 82 nests were counted, compared to only 10 in May of 2018. Of course, it's a good thing. Officials like Tracy Ziegler attributes the growing number of sea turtle nests to conservation efforts put in place decades ago. It takes about 25 to 30 years for a sea turtle to come to maturity and be able to lay her eggs. We might be seeing some of the um, successes of our conservation efforts. Ziegler says tracks of loggerheads and green turtles are the two most common. Both are considered threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Loggerhead sea turtles nest earlier in the season. They start nesting in around May and then um, and peak in June and July. And now right now green turtles are at their peak. For the protection of the animal, vehicles are prohibited in certain beach areas. I think our visitors have been pretty understanding in what's going on and that there's a greater effort at stake here. Resource managers don't have a date as to when the closed beaches will reopen. They do expect more sea turtle nests in the coming years. There's also been an increase in shorebird nest. Officials say Hurricane Florence improved the nesting habitats for the animals. At Harker's Island, Camila Barco, Nine on Your Side.